there were face off inspirations literally in firehouse dog. oh sure yeah i really? mean we were do- the dog is you know a, a replacement for travolta cage and the <laughs> An- angelina jolie and you know other actors that we had written for or worked with and you know he's like a big snob not that they were but <laughs> they weren't actually but we were taking the idea of the iconic hollywood uh a superstar being brought down a several pegs all right uh you got you collaborated uh with co-writer claire de lim for the family comedy firehouse dog and it was this was curious to me because usually well i don't know if it's usually i can't speak on that but you guys are like all over the place as far as genre and I was wondering if there's like a, a, a conscious difference that you notice to your approach to writing, whether it be, say, like a family comedy versus a horror film. A conscious difference. Well, I, I you know, every script, uh, you, you know, you kind of start with the tonal discussion, I guess, or pretty quickly uh, what it is you're trying to accomplish. Um, mm-hmm. In the case of Firehouse Dog, uh, that was sort of a unique a unique undertaking for us um, in that it was an idea that was generated by our friend Claire, who, who we, I went to college with and film school with and known forever. Um, and it was, it, 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 it's kind of, kind of convoluted, but in any case, she pitched that to an executive that Mike and I had worked with before who we knew, who was looking to do something with us again um, who we had a very good relationship with. And he said, uh, if you can get Mike and Mike to come on as producers, um, you know, we can set this, we, I think we can set this up because it, w- it would be cheaper to get us on as producers than as writers uh, at that point. And so uh, and we loved the idea and we had never, you know, Mike had written The Mask, which is kind of a family film. And he had written Curious mm-hmm. George, I think at that point too. So Mike, my, this was more in Mike's wheelhouse, um, although I, lo- you know, I loved the idea of the movie and and um, what we tried to, you know, what we set out to do. So anyway, and we had so, kids at that point, so yeah, it was yeah, and, yeah. doing something for that them. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. and so um, that's sort of how it all kind of it kind of came about with sort of alchemy uh, more than more than anything, and we just worked on, you know, we worked with Claire. Uh, on the script and and on her idea that she had cooked up with this guy and and uh you know we as the movie got into production we started taking over more of the writing of it uh having to do with production and the director who mike brought on mike really made the connection with the director and got him on the movie um so yeah so so anyway but um no i think i think uh but there look there were face off inspirations literally in firehouse dog. oh sure yeah i really? mean we were do- the dog is you know a, a replacement for travolta cage and <laughs> the A- angelina jolie and you know other actors that we had written for or worked with and you know he's like a big snob not that they were but <laughs> they weren't actually but we were taking the idea of the iconic hollywood uh a superstar being brought down a several pegs yeah and that was the genesis of the movie i mean you know this is a dog that is a massive box office rinton tin kind of superstar uh uh you know who's done uh, even had a, a hit on broadway in the canine mutiny <laughs> and terrier at twenty thousand feet and all these other films he's been in <laughs> uh, jurassic bark Starring Gina Gershon in the poster, um, yes. and he'd done all these films. With and, the shame and, and, <laughs> and then his toupee flies off once he gets. He's doing some sort of aerial stunt, and uh, everyone thinks he's dead, and he has to learn, you know, how to be a, a real hero. Wow. That when I'm when I'm writing something, it seems like it it becomes kind of like all encompassing, like it 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 kind of pollutes my thoughts, whatever the content matter is. So like I've, I've done suspense, I've done horror and, and you could definitely feel yourself kind of 
every once in a while you kind of have to go for a walk or or just go out in or in the real world and remind yourself that that the world you're creating isn't isn't everything right now but um, go out with a I, notepad <laughs> yes exactly yeah but with a family film it seems like it, like did you feel that uh like a difference in the energy as far as um the effect that it had on on you as a writer putting it together in compared to something like Face Off or the horror, horror the well, early horror fun. films you worked on, always fun working with Michael, and we just really had a good time. You know, sort of stretching the boundaries of what we we had been known for at the time, and it was still a high action adventure movie in many respects. I mean, yes, it, you've got Josh Hutcherson and Bruce Greenwood, and uh, uh, and you know four irish terriers playing the one uh, hero dog but but it was still there's you know there's there's arsons and there's a killer and and um uh and you know of course there's a fair amount of comedy in it because it's it's a a family film but uh but yeah i mean the and and basically there's the the structure structuring a film whether it's a comedy or a horror film or an action film, it's it, the process is pretty similar. 